What's up everyone, Jeremy here, MTG Headquarters, and I'm cracking all five intro packs like I always do. So if you're not already subscribed, you need to do that. <laughs> We're starting with the White Blue Psychic Labyrinth. These are available for purchase. Oh, let's read about what it does. Psychic Labyrinth. Pull your foes into a maze of uncertainty by manipulating their minds. If enemies dare to get in your way, send them back into the Aether while your army takes to the skies. So we have some evasion, and we have some bounce spells, and we have two boosters. You get basically a ready-to-play 60-card deck featuring a foil premium Jace's Mindseeker and two sealed M14 packs. People ask me all the time about value and, you know, what, is it worth it? Is that worth it? Intro packs, I will honestly tell you, please don't take this the wrong way, but they're not a good value. If you only have 15 bucks and you want to get two packs of cards and some and some cards to play right away, then it's perfect for you. But um, I'd almost say holding out for the Deck Builders Toolkit might be better. I'm not sure. You do get a, a semi-playable deck. I've found that these decks are not exactly like... They're not like event decks where you're just ready to go, you know? All right. And I'll just go through the rares and the uncommons. So we've got our foil... Jace's Mind Seeker here. We'll kind of just look at the other cards. Definitely a lot of flyers, and don't you can't underestimate evasion. I mean, we've got a clone, a water servant, air servant, stonehorn chanters, a bunch of lands, a bunch of lands, sideboard. We got show of valors. Staff of Mind Magus, Glimpse of the Future, Rod of Ruin, Illusionary Armor, and that's the end of it. Um, okay, let's get on to the packs. I don't know. It's a core set intro pack. I mean, it's it's if you have very few cards or a very limited budget, I think it's a good pickup. But outside of there, stick to singles or a booster box. We've got a Blight Caster. Diabolic Tutor, Howl of the Night Pack, and a rare Quicken. Next sorcery spell you cast this turn will be an instant, or will have flash. And a sliver token. Sorry if I'm going too fast, I just... Uh, I've got a lot to get through, and I know you guys really want to see these, so I'm trying to go as quick as I can. Um, if you're not already, you know, feel free to take this moment to crush that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. I'm superficial like that. We have a Wall of Swords, Rod of Ruin, looks like we got a foil back there, Enlarge, and Tidebinder Mage. Okay, so let's say you bought this intro pack. Now, this, the booster packs are just luck, but, I mean, all your rares are blue, so that's really nice. And we have a, a Foil Solemn Offering. So, uh, you know, you get a chance to improve your deck a little bit, which is... Uh, Always good. Granted, these are all probably bulk rares. Maybe the Tidebinder Mage, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, that is the White Blue M14 Intro Pack Psychic Labyrinth. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to subscribe and crush that thumbs up button. I look forward to chatting with you about Magic the Gathering in the comment section down below. We'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our most popular playlists, everything from MTG vlogs, gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.